Hi YouTube. If you own one of these Osaki Pro Maestro chairs or a chair similar to this from Osaki, uh, you are probably using this device that comes pre-attached to your chair. And this is typically wired and it gives you access to all the features of your device, of your chair. And uh, this is fine. Uh, but you know, one thing I've noticed in using this chair for a little while now is the fact that this chair uh, does have a mobile app that comes with it. Uh, a lot of people don't know about it or don't use it. Uh, so I wanted to make a video to show you how to actually uh, use your mobile phone to control your massage chair, particularly the Sasaki Pro Maestro. And uh, it gives you access to a bunch of new features uh, which your regular interface here um, would not give you. Um, you know, one of the things that is advantageous with a mobile app is that it can get software updates, whereas something like this will not receive software updates because you're basically stuck with whatever came with the original chair. Uh, so that's the advantage. And of course, you know, it's just far more convenient to pick out your phone, you know, change the setting and the chair responds, which is really, really cool. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to get your chair set up to be used with using a mobile app. Uh, on your mobile phone, and uh, that's the next step here. Okay, so the first thing uh, obviously would be to turn your chair on, so you can see I have plugged it into the wall socket. I also have this, uh, you know, turned on at that switch uh, in the chair, and when you do that, you should notice that uh, your chair is now turned on, this LED shows that, and it'll be blinking. And uh, what this really means is that your chair is now discoverable using your mobile app. So let's pull out our phones and see what would be the next steps there. Okay, so the next step is to pull out your phone, uh, get to your general settings if you're using an iPhone. And the process would be very similar on an Android phone as well. But I'm going to show you an iPhone, uh, you know, step by step. So you basically take out your Bluetooth uh, option from settings. And when you go there, you should have your Bluetooth obviously turned on. And then at the bottom, we should see the devices showing up. So you can see the Osaki chair is now discovered. And so all I will need to do is click on this. And when I do that, it's going to pair it. And uh, it's now paired. So next, what we have to do, uh, by the way, on the chair, you can see this LED on the speaker is glowing that shows you that the chair is now paired. So that's the way the chair indicates to you that the Bluetooth connection was successful. So once this is all set up, uh, you should see the connection here. And then you also see this LED glowing. And that tells you that the blue connect Bluetooth connection is all set up. So the next step now is to download the app that uh, supports the chair and I'll show you the next steps for that. All right, so before I get to the app part, I thought I'll quickly also show you the other advantage of getting this Bluetooth connection done. So if I come to my phone now and go into Pandora as an example, um, you can see that the music now automatically starts playing on the speakers that are built into your chair. And so while you're taking a massage, uh, it's it's really great to listen to your favorite piece of music uh, and you can control all that using your phone and so you are not only using this to control the music but of course the chair itself using the app which we'll show you next okay to now download the app I'll go to the app store since we are doing this on an on a iPhone and uh, you know go down here on search and uh, I'm gonna basically Type in Osaki. And uh, we should soon see the Osaki massage chair options coming up. So the, I'm going to pick Osaki massage as the first option. And when I do that, you'll notice that there are multiple apps for Osaki that show up. So there's this Osaki massage. Uh, under utilities, you also have the Osaki Platinum 4D Master. A lot of these apps are really uh, customized for individual models from Asaki uh, for their massage chairs. Uh, so the one that we are going to pick out is going to be the Osaki uh, Pro Maestro. Um, 
and you can see it right here. Um, it shows a bubble since I had installed it earlier and I uninstalled it to show you guys you know, what the steps are. But you can basically pick out the app that corresponds closest to your chair. And uh, this will give you a listing of everything that is available from Asaki, um, you know, that uh, you can pick out. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, install this now. So I'm gonna start that process. And once it's installed, I'll be right back. All right, so our app is now installed, as you can see. So let me go to my screen and, um, you know, out here, once the installation is done, you'll see that the app shows up this way for the Pro Maestro EC806C, and that's the icon you're looking for. Uh, I have tried the other apps as well, uh, but they seem to be acting a little bit funky. I don't think uh, it's true, totally compatible. So if you have this particular chair, I do recommend that you get the Pro Maestro version. Uh, so it works a little bit more efficiently for you. So now that it's installed, uh, all we need to do is go to the app and see what it looks like. Okay, so when I hit the the app icon, the first thing I'm gonna see is this message that says that the app wants to use the Bluetooth connection to speak to the chair. And of course you need that. So I'm gonna say allow and uh, it's now connected, right? So now the app is now connected using Bluetooth to your chair. And uh, you'll notice on the app, uh, there are this, these icons. So I'm gonna start with this icon on the left. It basically allows you to pick a couple of languages which are supported. So it's English and Chinese. Those are the only two languages that the app supports uh, at the moment. So obviously we'll stick with, Engli with English at the moment. And, um, you know, one thing that uh, I want to comment on this app is that, you know, overall, once you get the hang of it, I think the app is easy to use. But initially, because uh, even though it does support English, there are a few messages that, uh, you know, keep appearing in Chinese, even though I have picked English. Uh, so that's the part that you need to get over. But as far as the regular use of the app is concerned, which I'll show you in this video, you know, that seems to be working just fine. So next, what I'm going to do is to actually connect the chair to the app so it actually starts talking. For this, I'm gonna hit on the power button. So when I do that, you notice that it shows me the Osaki, which I'm gonna pick. And then every time this comes up, like all the other you know, Bluetooth options are coming up. So I pick this, use this, the one that's on the right, right? So I don't know what it says. I, I assume that's okay in Chinese, but that's what you need to hit every time. Don't pick the one on the left. Always pick, pick the button on the right and you should be good. This is pretty much uh, applicable to any message screen that you see on this app. Just stick to the right. And uh, if I do that, now the chair is connected. So now to show you how the mobile app works, let's walk through the various menu options in this. So to do that, I'm gonna hit this power button one more time. And when I do that, you notice that the chair has come alive, meaning it is actually communicating with the with the chair so if i hit on this large button and at, at, at the top here it shows me the various kinds of massages that are available to me uh, there is relax uh, recover rolling and this thing does scroll so and then it's shiatsu and then you can also pick which body part you want to focus on so is it lower back so if it is uh, lower back you know depending on which massage uh, option you have picked it's going to show you where it's really focusing and um, on the on the advanced piece obviously you can just pick something from here and it'll start working so let me just show you real quick what this is going to look like so i'm going to pick uh, shiatsu i know it's a popular massage setting so if i pick that uh, it will automatically show that the chair is now doing its thing and uh, it's obviously scanning you know, for I'm nobody sitting in the chair, so obviously I'm not showing you that, but um, it is scanning for the body type that's in there before it actually starts uh, the massage routine itself. So that's what's going on. So I'll let the scanning piece complete here and then get back to showing you the rest of it. Okay, so on the app, as, as you uh, can tell, basically this large icon here gets you to a predefined uh, set of uh, massages and that's what you're picking from 
from there. But if we go to advanced, uh, it gives you a lot more options. Again, always pick this, the, you know, the menu button to the right and uh, you'll see this connected. I don't know what that dialog said. Uh, maybe somebody who speaks Chinese or reads Chinese can tell me, but I always pick the menu option on the right and it seems to work fine. So now I'm going to click on advanced. And as you can see, now everything shows up in English. You know, you don't have to uh, worry about the language settings anymore. Um, but it does, you know, when it comes to the dialogue prompts, for some reason, they appear in, in Chinese only. So anyhow, um, this is what you're going to see, right? It's definitely a lot more sophisticated than what appears on this guy. Um, but, you know, so out here, you can see, um, it tells you what kind of massage do you want. So, you know, first off, uh, here's your pause and start button. So I can hit this and uh, it'll automatically start or pause the massage and then here you you notice 15 so you know the chair obviously is defaulting to a 15 minute massage so if you want to change that you can simply click on 15 and it will change it to 20 uh, change it to 25 change it to 30 and that's the max right so the minimum is five minutes maximum is 30 minutes so i'm gonna put it back to its default setting which is 15 minutes and um Next, we're going to see the the various options that you see at the bottom here. So we'll start from the left. So right now, this is on manual mode, right? So this is obviously not predefined. So that's what you're seeing. And there's an air massage. We'll take a look at that in a moment. But if I'm right now in manual, so in the manual position, I can change the position of the chair. So if I hit this, it's going to show me either to put the chair in the zero gravity position. And for doing that, I just hit this and uh, it's going to make the chair start going into zero gravity and uh, if i now hit the home it's going to put the chair back into the regular position it has to finish the routine so now if i put this back here we should uh see this going back okay so that's that and then if i hit the led button you'll notice that uh, the osaki um you know the logo starts appearing on the floor if i hit it again it disappears you know what i have found this uh, logo or this lighting to be really useful for is if you're using a darkish room and you want some minimum lighting you don't want it on your face um you know this led lamp um, the glowing on the bottom really works nicely in a darker room. Uh, so you have some ambient lighting, but it's not in your face. Um, so that's what I like or use it for. Uh, so anyhow, so you have control over this stuff this way. Um, but let's now go back to the regular menu positions. So out here, the next option to take a look at would be the calf kneading. So if I hit on calf kneading, it's going to start kneading my calf using, you can probably see that kneading action going on in the chair. So if I hit this again, obviously it'll, it'll stop that process. And then if I hit on fast pump, which is basically the pumping action that goes on both on your, you know, basically in the chair, including your arms, uh, that's what is going to be initiated. So I can control it really on demand what I want uh, massaged and how. So I can obviously stop that. I can go to foot kneading and now, you know, obviously that's happening inside here. So hopefully you can see the foot kneading is actually going on uh, in there. So if I, you know, close foot kneading and I can start heating up the chair. So if I want to do that, I could, I could obviously turn it and there's no way to show it on the video, but yeah, it's getting warmed up and I can turn it off obviously. Um, so those are the menu options that you see on the top. And then you have the menu options that appear at this level. So let's start with neck and shoulder. So if I hit on neck and shoulder, there are these four character characteristics. They have not named it. Um, I don't think there's a way to configure it or change it. Um, but yeah, so if you hit any of these, you'll have to just experience it. You know, each one feels different. Um, and you can pick whichever you like. Uh, it doesn't give it a... Uh, easy to understand name obviously you'll have to remember which one of whichever whichever one you liked most um, or experiment with it really 
And then there's the upper back. So if I hit on upper back, same thing, you get four different settings. They're called characteristic one through four. And depending on which one you like, you're gonna go ahead and use that. Then you get lower back and uh, you know, same thing, four different characteristics. And then with the full back, uh, you get these four options. This one is, is actually worded a little bit nicely. It's either a kneading action, a tapping, a shiatsu or a rolling. So depending on which one you like, you can you can use that, but that is available only with the full back. And the rest of it, you know, obviously are not named properly, but they, I can tell you, they all work differently. So, you know, this is obviously all the options. Now, if I go to 4D, you can change the 4D setting on how you want the chair to be positioned. And this plus and minus helps you do that. You have the strength. So depending on, you know, however, is the strength of this of the massage you can you can tweak it to your liking um, and then you have the speed which again using this plus and minus you can control um, those are the menu options that are available to you so you can you know customize it to the way you want it and you can see where it really focuses uh, the massage if i go to air massage now and here you can see which part of the body so this you know a human body shown here actually shows you where the massage is going to take place. So if I, for example, hit on calf kneading, you can see it makes that calf area blue to show that that's where the chair is focusing, you know, as far as the massage is concerned. And then, you know, obviously with the various options, you're going to see, um, you know, whatever is available as air massage, right? So not rollers. So here I can go to shoulder, and now it's it's doing it on my shoulder area and my arms. Uh, I can look at the arm piece so you can see, you know, using that light blue dot there where it's focusing. And then same thing with lower back. Uh, so the roll, lower back rollers are obviously uh, coming into action along with the squeeze action. And then here is the calf, right? So I have control over, over all that. and. Here you also have control over the intensity. So if I want to lower the intensity of how fast it's pumping the air. Um, okay, so I can obviously do that. Um, so yeah, now let's get back to uh, the regular screen. And uh, here, you know, so we've walked through basically the professional predefined settings. Here's your language settings. Here's your advanced settings, which basically makes the chair operate not, you know, on a predefined routine, but according to exactly how you want it, you can change the position of the chair from here. And then once you're all done, you hit this power button again, and that uh, disconnects the chair from the app. And now it's getting back to its regular position. So hopefully this video helped you uh, to understand how to set up your app or your phone to work with your with your chair. And I think this is a good way to really get a lot more value out of the investment you made um, into a chair like this. And I think the app is underutilized uh, or underappreciated. It really does add a lot of value. So if you like this video, uh, please do give me a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, maybe even share with a friend who has a similar chair. And um, I'll see you the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.